right guys I'm super excited I got this active 2011 Ford Crown Victoria police interceptor it's got about 50,000 miles with all its glory it's been beautiful See what's in the inside. It's got the gun wrap. Cage. Uh, I have no idea what any of those buttons do, but we will find out. Let me try pushing some of these buttons, see what it does. Uh... <laughs> oh, I love that sound. Wag. Let's see what I did. Let's see what the other button does. Okay, so it looks like I can change the the pattern here. See, that's that way. This is yeah, I think I'm correct. Looks like the PA. Driver, step out of the vehicle. This is not an exercise. This is ground rig auto. <laughs> Hey guys, I want to give a special thanks to Officer Daniels from a nearby police agency. He was uh, kind enough to let me check out the patrol vehicle. And he's going to show me a little bit how everything works. So, <clears throat> I'm totally clueless at this. So. so, how it works is this is one, two, and three of the light bar. Mm -hmm. So, selection one is going to be the back arrow stick and red and blue light. And then when you go to two, this is what we usually use to do a traffic stop. It initiates the back uh, traffic signal advisory and it initiates the front takedown, red steady burn, nice. and the flashing red lights in the front. And the camera. Nice, let's take a look. And then uh, you got three, which activates all the lights and the wigwag. Apparently the wigwag is not working right now, but the code three is technically code three where all the lights go and the headlights flash. Okay, let's take a look. Man. This is our MPC Motorola data computer. 
Um, some people call it a mobile data computer, it really doesn't matter. This is the light for it, the keyboard, even though it's backlit, you can change it from white to red for um, at night time, so you don't want to ruin your night vision. This is the patrol radio right here. I'm not going to really show you what's on it. It's just mm -hmm. how we use to put take calls and all that, plus the computer for sending calls out and talking to other officers. We got, uh, you know, manual controls right here, so and you're not going to use these for anything. Say you just a car cuts you off and you don't have time to do a traffic stop. You just hit the the air horn, you know. And if you are on a traffic stop, you just hit this spotlight and it turns on the passenger spotlight. So if someone's not riding with you, you can turn it on and it makes the person you stopped think that there's someone else in the vehicle. Oh, nice. So then you turn that off and then you got auxiliary. And now I can't tell you what that does. It has something to do with the gun thing, but I'm not gonna tell you exactly how it works. Um, you got left alley, which turns on the left side of the light bar, white light. So you can check left alleyways. And then you got uh, takedown, which does the front. It's like a spotlight for the front of the vehicle. Then you got the right alley, which does the right side of the car. Now, there's other switches. There's radio rebroadcast right here, which what it does is it takes the, the audio from the radio and sends it out through the car's um, siren speaker. And of course, the only way you're gonna be able to hear it is if it's, you know, there's audio coming from the radio, so there's not. Mm -hmm. um, don't know why the siren's not working right now. It has to be taken in the shop apparently, so it's not working right now. Usually, if you hit the whale button and you come up to intersections, you, you hit this, and this will alternate the siren tones. So once you hit the siren, the whale that does the one constant tone, then you hit the horn, and instead of the horn going through, um, the siren changes its tone to uh, Yelp. So that way you can clear an intersection. So, nice. And that's how that works. Um, other than that, you know, um, there's the there's three sockets for you know cigarette plug and all that stuff. Um, that's pretty much it. The computer can map, can move a little bit. It's it doesn't move as far as it, it I'd like it to, but it's whatever. Nice. Um, that's pretty much it. All right, man. I wish this was my daily driver. I would have the best commute ever. Let's <coughs> look on the back. Now this is an active police car, so I don't want to sit in here for too long. Alright, let's see what's in the trunk. Looks like some type of computer.